Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're here at the Legoland Windsor Resort. It's actually Charlotte's first visit of the 2021 season. I've not been yet this season. Looks like we're in for a very busy day down here at Legoland, but of course, as we mentioned in yesterday's vlog from the Mythica preview event, we have actually been given unlimited fast track Ooh. today. We've got our wristbands on, so of course we can get plenty of riding. So a big thank you to the team here at Legoland. Of course, it'll be our first time getting on the various different dark rides here this season. I came a few weeks ago, uh, well, about a month back now when they first opened for the season and uh, yeah of course the dark rides were closed because of government guidance weren't they yes so we're gonna look forward to getting back on those get back on some of my favorites the haunted house monster party really enjoy that of course uh, we'll head inside deep sea adventure and all of the other fantastic attractions here at the park as well and like i say if you haven't already seen it check out yesterday's vlog um, from the preview event for the brand new area here it's lego mythica the world of mythical creatures of course you've got lots of different attractions in there and all also as well the UK's first flying theatre so yeah it's actually quite a nice day today isn't yeah, it? Yeah it's nice today. I was debating putting my shorts on. It's a bit cloudy though. It is a bit cloudy but at least you know we don't, I've not got my coat on for the first time I in know. ages so it's nice to actually feel like summer is arriving. So yes welcome to Legoland Windsor we'll get on some rides check out the changes in the other dark rides and like I say if you want to see everything from Mythica check out yesterday's vlog. Let's go! Just to start off with an update then here at the entrance to the park, the Legoland Coffee Co, as we can see, established 2021, is now open. Last time I was here, they were just finishing that off. And they actually added some more theming up at the top here since I was last here at Legoland Windsor. Of course, I mentioned it in the vlog about a month ago how they put all these new figures in for this year. But yeah, they've added this little covered area at the top now. And of course, you've got the uh, figures up there. I really like the little Lego banana that he's holding there. And is that some bread he's got in the middle? Is it a baguette, is it? Baguette. At first, I thought it was a hot dog, but it's definitely it's not. There we go. I don't know what he's got. Just a Lego brick, I think, over there an at the apple. end. Oh, is that an apple, is it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and he's got a Lego brick just over there. But yeah, this little structure's gone in since I was last here. Let's get on some rides here at Legoland Windsor. Right then, so we're going to start our day here at Legoland with a water ride. Yeah, you don't mind this one, though, do you? It's not too bad. Why don't you mind it? You don't really get wet on it. No, you don't. They took the buckets out a few years ago. I do miss them. But here we go. We're going to start off down here on Viking River Splash. Let's go, and we'll put in some off-ride footage. ride then over on Viking River Splash. Yeah, we have. There's not much to that graphics on the floor thing. I didn't even get wet. Not even a drip. Not even a drip. <laughs> you never did it though when it had the big bucket, did you? No. Yeah, you used to get absolutely soaked it's on that. It's just missing some sort of water like, effects or something on there. It's not the prettiest rapids to look at. but <laughs> Anyway, we had our ride on there. And we're going on the spinning spider now. It's a busy day though down here, isn't it? It's uh, Legoland, but we thought we may as well make the most of the fast track that they've given us today. So yeah, we're going on the spinning spider. Of course, you've got the big Lego spider himself just up there. Quite a bit of movement to him, all the legs creeping around, crawling around. But yeah, it's going to have a ride on the spinning spider. Literally just making our way around the park in a circle today, getting as many rides in as we can and sharing all the updates. Why not? <laughs> I could definitely have got away with the shorts now. I know, it's warm. <laughs> it is really warm. We had a great ride there on the spinning spider. And because it's so warm, we're going to go on Pirate Falls Treasure Quest. I have agreed to this. Oh, I know you want to, really. I've not agreed to this. <laughs> but yeah, just a bit of advice for you, though, if you're coming down here to Legoland Windsor. Of course, we said that it's quite busy at the top. Already coming down here towards the Dragon Coaster, it's a lot quieter. So you want to make sure you're coming right down to the bottom of the park first, or over to the Dragon Coaster, or of course Mythica now, uh, and then work your way back up the hill. Well, that's my best advice for you if you're coming here to Legoland to try and avoid the queues. But I tell you what, today feels like summer for the first time. This is the weather that I love for visiting theme parks but it's perfect oh you know you want to <laughs> here we go reserve a ride entrance let's go and have a ride on pirate falls when you got on the mid fast track at legoland you got to make the most of it so yeah let's go and have a go <laughs>
I'm sure this is like a repeater last time. Oh, How are you? Not disgusting though. Oh, you look quite wet there. So? Yeah. <laughs> trousers. I tell you what though, it's a good day for it, isn't it? Well, I'd be. Yeah. Great <laughs> look at me. To be fair, considering the drop on there isn't actually that big as you saw there from the off-ride footage, you do get quite a soaking on there. There's also some quite cool effects around as well. And then you end up like uh, Charlotte and stuff over here. <laughs> some good theming on there though, isn't yeah, there? It's, good. it's only a one drop. She said it's good. What? No, the theming's good and stuff. A water ride, that's good. So oh, there we go. But yeah, I enjoy that. It's definitely worth going on. Even the main key for that wasn't too bad. Like I say, when you come in here on a busier day, get yourself down here nice and early down to the bottom end of the park. And of course come and enjoy some of the rides down here. But there you go, Pirate Falls, Treasure Quest. Enjoyed that. then on Merlin's Challenge as you saw there from the off-ride footage of it in action you love that don't you yeah but I sat wrong on there <laughs> go I on sat in, I, sat, I sat in the middle seat but like the restraint was in the middle so oh it wasn't a very comfortable ride yeah not the best uh, seat arrangement really for you there that. so when you said the middle seat in the middle of the restraint in you sat didn't you because yeah. of course you can see two in each row yeah not the best idea that one Charlotte no, we couldn't <laughs> we tried, didn't we? we? Tried to fit in together, but yeah, impossible. Anyway, of course, down here in Knight's Kingdom, all the refurbs they've done here at Legoland over the past few years are great. I mean, they completely repainted the castle a couple of years ago. Looks so much better than it did before. And of course, this is home to the Dragon Roller Coaster. So we're going to have a ride on there. And as always, putting a bit of off-ride footage. Like I say, there is a few rides here at Legoland that we can film on. Some of the smaller rides, Fairytale Brook, a couple of the dark rides we can get footage on. So of course, we'll take you along on there. But yeah, we're going to have a ride now on the Dragon Roller Coaster. Beautifully themed down here though. What a lovely day. <laughs> Off-ride footage there from the Dragon Roller Coaster. Did you enjoy that? Yes, it's a great family coaster. It is, and it was on the back row as well. Yeah, it was. You actually get a little pop of airtime when you're on the back row on that. So we'll try and get on the back if you can. If you haven't guessed already, we're on Fairy Tale Brook. Yeah, I love this ride. It's, just, it's a good theme in taking you through all the different fairy tales. And I think we're going to head around to some dark rides shortly afterwards. But uh, yeah, what a lovely day. It actually feels like summer today, doesn't it? It does, it's lovely. For the first time this year, it feels like summer. Let's see, I'll spin you round and we'll get a little bit more footage from on board Fairy Tale Brook. Hashtag big scary drop on here. Some really nice props and theming on this, and of course, they mix Lego figures with a lot of props and theming as well here on the rides. Like this scene that we can just see here as well. Oh, you're right there. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, head putting her. You're right there. <laughs> Making our way now into the Cave of Wonders. Love the lighting in here. It's a great ride, really underrated attraction, this, in my opinion. Rub the lamp, boy. There's the genie. It's 
So we literally get this in every vlog here from Lego Land, but here we go, we're gonna get it in again. The biggest, most scariest drop ever on a water ride now. I'm surprised that you don't need a restraint. I'm really worried, Sean. <laughs> Honestly, you need a lap bar for this. Like, here we go. So we're gonna stop before we go down. And here's the drop just here. I'll show you it forward a little bit. Here we go. Straight down. Oh, 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 whoa! Brace yourself, there you go. Are you all right there? I'm that not sure. big splash. That was big. It's like tidal wave. Well, there we go, Fairy Tale Brook. It's lovely, isn't it? It is. I like the uh, ambience around that ride. Very magical. Some nice theming, and of course, the uh, minifigures as well. Please stay seated until a cast member asks you to leave. Long to Disneyland. Honestly, we've just come off Fairy Tale Brook, and this pigeon is loving the music down here at Lego Land. He's bopping forward. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Charlotte's going to join in with you now. Hey, yeah. Oh, he's thinking, what's going on? Yeah. Literally bopping down here on the pathway. We're going up to Sky Rider now. Just thought we'd uh, have a ride on there, bopping with the pigeon down here at Lego Land. It was going to go on Raft Race. I thought it might be open, but it's not. It's basically some dinghy slides that just run down the other side of the bushes here. You wouldn't know they were here, to be honest, but uh, here we go. Dancing Charlotte's back again. <laughs> and we're going on Sky Rider, which is the little uh, monorail ride up here. So we'll take you for a ride round on there. Get some nice views across the park. And you get to see Miniland quite nicely from up there too. Here we go then on Sky Rider or Plane Spotter, I think it needs to be named to. Of course, we're right near to Heathrow Airport, so you get loads of aircraft flying over. Not as many, of course, at the moment as you normally would do because of all the travel restrictions still in place. But fingers crossed we'll be back up there in the skies again soon. Really hope so. Yeah, you get some great views on this. It's like a, a taller version of Get Set Go at Alton Towers in CBB's line. Same manufacturer, but as you can tell from the track, it's a, a powered uh, monorail basically that takes you around. You get some good views across Miniland when you go around the corner as well. Yeah, very busy here at Legoland. Like I say, my advice for you if you come in here on a normal day is get yourself down to the bottom of the park first, especially with Mythica now open. Uh, and of course, then work your way back up because it gets very busy, doesn't it? Very, very busy. But uh, yeah, you get some great views around this corner of Miniland. Oh, I always love this view, turning this corner ever since I was a kid, looking down there across all of the different Lego figures. Probably not going to head down there today because a big focus of the vlog that I filmed a few weeks ago was going around Miniland and show you all of the changes. They're doing a massive overhaul for this year, uh, quite a few sections being redone, uh, which is really good to see. So, of course, when we come back a little bit later in the year, we'll head down there again and see any of the changes that have been made. But yeah, of course, the past few years has been a big uh, refurbishment project for Miniland. So many buildings have been redone. Of course, all of Miniland USA down here that you can see. A couple of years ago, the train tracks and all the trains were replaced. And I mentioned in the vlog uh, from a few weeks ago that all the Kennedy Space Center, NASA, just down here, that was all redone. But yeah, the views are incredible looking all across Miniland. And you really appreciate how much work goes into creating all of the different Lego models down here. Of course, great aerial view across it as well. Right, then we're gonna have some lunch, aren't we now? And then head down for some dark rides, because of course they were closed last time I was here. Right then, so we've had some lunch over at Farmer Joe's, Chicken, chicken shack. shack, Farmer Joe's. Chicken Shack. Did you enjoy your lunch? Yes, I had no chicken though. <laughs> I had some you went to Farmer Joe's Chicken Shack, he didn't have chicken. I didn't have chicken. Only Charlotte, but yeah, very busy. We're making our way down now to do the dark rides. We've got four dark rides to do in a row. We're gonna start off with a nice submarine ride, of course, with all the fish, real fish, not Lego ones. Well, there's some Lego ones, but most of them are real. Um, up here on Deep Sea Adventure. We'll then come down and do the Haunted House Monster Party. We can't take you along on there, but we can take you along on Deep Sea, can't we? Oh yeah, the music on there. So the Coma Madhouse that we love. So yeah, we'll take you on Deep Sea just up here. Oh, I love the little minifigure they've got down here then. Of course, just in the little walkthrough pre-show. Just about to see his face up there with the projection. Here we go, yeah, we're gonna go and ride Deep Sea Adventure. Come along and we'll bring you along on this one. Really nice submarine ride. Ah, recruits, keep on coming through. Here we are then, down in our submarine. 
Some nice lighting and effects in here. Of course, at the moment, it is still just one party per submarine. Normally, of course, they'd be filling these up. So it does mean that the queue is moving slower at the moment. Nice little ride, though, this. And of course, it takes you through the aquarium just here in our submarine. We are now with the Coral Cave. Oh, he's nice and close, the shark just down there. Hey, recruits. Check out all of the colorful corals around you. Fun fact. Coral reefs form the home for hundreds or even thousands of sea creatures all living together. Reefs are home to one quarter of all marine life. In fact, corals are... Yeah, there's windows all the way down. Of course, you've got the bigger windows just here. And you've got like the little portals over here as well. submarine wash as it should be <laughs> yeah they put all the yellow there of course just to make sure that uh, the fish aren't going into the different sections i think i'm pretty sure that's why they're there just to kind of separate them all off there we go we found atlantis and that's deep sea adventure here at legoland it's about a five minute ride so it's not really long well, I just enjoy it. I think the fact that, yeah, you're actually in a submarine is brilliant. I'd have loved this when I was a kid. Up next, I was the Haunted House Monster Party. Yeah, down to the best ride then now. <laughs> Honestly, my favourite ride here at Legoland. Love it. Here we go, time for the Haunted House Monster Party, the Vekoma Madhouse, with the best soundtrack ever. We love this, don't we? We'll go on, but we'll see when we come off. But yeah, really good ride up there on Deep Sea Adventure, but it's not quite the Haunted House Monster Party. This is the one. on the Haunted House Monster Party. Like I say, we can't take you along on the ride on that one. But yeah, it's a Vekoma Madhouse. The room looks like it's spinning upside down. It's a very enjoyable attraction, isn't it? Yeah, really good. Music on there is great as well. So dancing. It is, like you saw the little clip was in the pre-show. Really but, good. Uh, we're going on the Legoland Point. Express now. Here we go then, on the Legoland Express. I don't think I've ever been on the back of the train before. Bit of a back row POV for you there. As we leave the station, and get ready for our tour around. Of course, your journey starts on the Lego on the Express by just passing through the queue line here for Laser Raiders. Of course, the dark ride just around here, the interactive dark ride. So yeah, 
the main show building for Laser Raiders is just the other side of there. And of course, this is the queue line that you pass through the middle of. Oh, did a bit of snake charm in there. That's me, what I get out on a weekend, but I'm not at a theme park. There's Charlotte. <laughs> Nice Lego figures to see around the ride as well. One of my favourites coming up just around this corner. Got a big Chinese dragon just there, look at that. Really nice that one, very colourful. never been to Lego Land Windsor before of course they've got lots of rides to get on I mean on a busy day like today you definitely need at least two days to get everything in there's so many different rides of course you've got like the driving schools the boating school down here that's Coast Guard HQ another one of my favorites when I used to be a kid but yeah they've got quite a lot of low throughput attractions as well so like I say if you come in here with kids you need to make sure that you've got a couple of days really to see everything especially if you've never been before and want to get it all in very busy park. Oh, we've got the ostriches there. We like those, don't we, Charlotte? Ostrich. I love a good ostrich. <laughs> ride on the Legoland Express is coming to an end, just pulling now back round into the station. Up next, we're going to have a ride on uh, Laser Raiders, I think over in Kingdom of the Pharaohs. Interactive dog ride, just use the guns here and you get your score. Or oh, we're even, not even putting that much effort in. Oh, here we go. I do like that when you hit most of the things in here, something does happen, you do get some effects. <laughs> the noise on the guns is a bit annoying though. <laughs> hey! Oh, we're even again, 2,500. Charlotte keeps blaming her instruments. Oh, 3,000, I'm winning! Nothing. Oh, these ones aren't working here. I think it's some of the targets are... Uh, oh. We go. Oh, some of the targets aren't working. Can't believe it. What about in this next scene? Here we go. Hey, here we go. Back in action. Oh, oh no, she's winning me now. She's beating me. Oh no. Oh, guess who the winner was on Laser Raiders? Yeah, but with only by 500 points. <laughs> to be fair, I literally turned around as we were waiting to come back into the that station. That's cheating. <laughs> Are you having a good day at Lego Land? Yes. Oh, here we go, she's dancing. This is one of my favourite soundtracks in the park. I say that I prefer the Haunted House soundtrack now, but this one round here in Kingdom of the Pharaohs, I do really like. It's like a bit of an Egyptian dance that I quite like. She's going for it, oh my God. <laughs> well, anyway, we're going over on to Ninjago the ride oh, now. No. You love it, don't you? <laughs> Ninjago the ride. I Charlotte doesn't do it. like it because she doesn't know how to operate it properly. It never works Show the me. viewers what you do. She's like, she's taking it way too, like, no, 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 you don't do that. It's going to be slow no, motion. it doesn't like that. work. Let's go on Ninjago. <laughs> There you go, is 
that's how you do it, Charlotte, on there. <laughs> now, I have filmed on this before, but I'm not going to take you on today. I'm going to have a proper go. Because I'm always filming, I never have a proper go at this. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, do a better job than Charlotte. Here we go. <laughs> well, we'll see if I can do a better job. We'll see when we come off. Like I said, if you want to see some on ride footage, we've got it in some of the previous vlogs here on the channel. Are your hands ready? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you afterwards. That's going to be me. Right then, so I got a whopping score of 130,550. Charlotte's over here, 22,750. What were you doing? Uh, uh, excuses. See, that is proof that on that ride, if you know what you're doing, you get a good score. Uh, honestly, what do you like about it? It's just you just need to get some better arm action on there. You know, some more zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> yeah, I was watching. You weren't putting your back into it. I was. Anyway, what we're going to go and watch now? We're going to watch Lego Friends Girls on a Mission. Girls on a Mission. So, of course, this is the Hall 8 City Girls that they've got just down here. And they're on the show around the corner. So this has just started, of course. I think last week they started the show. So, of course, we like catching the shows down here at Legoland. Yeah, show you what's on offer, of course, if you're coming down here to the park. But honestly, what do you think to Charlotte's uh, score on uh, Ninjago the ride? No, what, nothing? They're not impressed, Charlotte. Not impressed. But here we go. Coming up over the next couple of minutes, we're going to have some footage from the show. I just thought I'd mention there's quite a few new food outlets here. There's a couple of new coffee shops. In my opinion, this park's not very good for food. It needs some more different options. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of bits that have been closed, isn't there, as well? I tell you what though, this is brand new and it looks really nice. It's very popular. Very popular. I mean, we're going to have one. The key is huge. It's the Heart Lake Shakes just over there. So they do, uh, of course, milkshakes, hot drinks as well. I would have had one, but the queue is absolutely massive. But anyway, we're going to head around the corner and we're going to put some highlights in from the show over the next few minutes before we wrap up this vlog. We had to rescue the sea animals, stop the dredging, and then clean up the ocean.
interrupting the showdown here. These two pigeons are having a fight. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, the come on, guys. You You're ruining the show. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, guys. <laughs> Clap along with us. Come on. Look at it. Oh. The pigeons are taking out all the pub and flapping now. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, they're going for it. Stealing the show down here. there over the past few minutes from the Lego Friends show. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was really good. That was a fun show. Family show. Really good, yeah. Quite a lot going on effects wise. Yeah, really good. Good song selection. Well, we liked the music, didn't we? Yeah, it was very dancing. Yeah, really good for the families as well to go and watch that. Really good. About a 25 minute show. Quite a bit going on. But uh, yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. Well, it's not really designed for our age group, but of course we like to cover all the different options that there is down here in Legoland. Here we are, making our way back up on the hill train. So we'll wrap up this vlog here from Legoland Windsor. Yeah, right on the back of the hill train here. So you get some great views, of course, when you're heading up the park. Very hilly here at Legoland Windsor. Of course, it used to actually be a safari park back in the day. Windsor Safari Park. Anybody visit Windsor Safari Park? Comment down below. I never visited, unfortunately. Over in the distance there, you get a great view of Heathrow. You just see the uh, control tower just over there. We've seen loads of planes going over today, haven't we? I know. Honestly, can't wait to get on one. <laughs> as soon as we can do. But yeah, we're going to head up to the top just here and we'll wrap up this vlog. It was a nice day, really enjoyed it. Got loads of riding. Then that wraps up our vlog here today from Legoland Windsor Resort. And like I say, big thanks to the park for providing us with fast track today. Yeah, thank you so much. We certainly yeah. needed it. It's been a really busy day, hasn't really, it, today? Really, busy. Well, it's been great to get back on the dark rides. Of course, really enjoy the Haunted House oh, Monster right, Party. Really awesome. Soundtrack on there is really good. Uh, Deep Sea Adventure, of course. Ninjago the ride. Laser Raiders and all the dark Love rides. <laughs> oh, you love it. Come on, a bit of, bit of this, bit of that. But uh, no, really enjoyed it today. Like I say, it's been very busy here. Um, um, some of the food, you know, the queues have been massive, haven't they, really, today? Really, really long. <laughs> really busy, but uh, yeah, of course, if you are coming here, my best advice for you, I've already said it a couple of times, I'll say it one more time, uh, and that's go right down to the bottom of the park and kind of work your way back up. With how this park's set up on the hillside, a lot of people go straight for the rapids first. Um, you know, you want to be going straight down to the bottom, especially with Mythica. Get there first if you come in. Definitely. Talking of Mythica, check out the vlog and review that we filmed. Of course, we've not really mentioned it at all in this vlog. That was all in yesterday's vlog vlog here on the channel that at the time of recording this we haven't yet filmed how bizarre no, um, we're about to head down there now for the preview but of course you'll have already seen that here on the channel from yesterday with it being the big new area of course we wanted to put that one up first and get it for you to enjoy on the channel um, of course on the day of its opening the 29th um, of May 2021 to so join us for uh, our review and thoughts on that checking out all the theming details and of course all of the models throughout the area as well so there we go from me and Charlotte thank you very much for joining us from Lego and Windsor and that leaves us one final thing to say get, get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding see you soon